Hello, Austin fans. This is Osman Bukari. I'm happy to join you and I hope to see you soon. Ciao. Hello, friends. Welcome to Dell Soccer. My name is Delali Frank, and this is News Daily, where I serve you with all the major trending news in the last few hours. In today's edition, we are going to do updates so far as Black Stars players are concerned, and then we'll chip in some few things. We'll start with Ali Dusedu, who has assured Ghanaians of winning our two games and then qualifying to the World Cup. He has assured Ghanaians of qualifying to the World Cup. We'll talk about what he said. We're also going to talk about updates so far as Black Stars players are concerned. We will do a quick update on Jeremy Opoku, who has engaged his girlfriend. We're also going to talk about Usman Bukhari, who has been transferred to a different club. We will talk about Moreno, who is set to coach another Ghanaian. And then we'll wrap up with an update from former president Mohamed San, who is a very good lover of football. There's some good news in his family. We'll share what the good news is. So today's video is going to be packed. So uh, as I always say, hit on the subscription button. Let's build this community together. But that was too much time. Let's get straight into today's video. All right, so let's start off with Ali Dusedu. Ali Dusedu arrived in camp yesterday in my video, in the video that I did on best dressed Black Stars players. He was part of the top three. He looked good. He was happy, having fun, talking to everybody. And then after that, he spoke with, he did a quick interview and he said some few things. He, he spoke about how important qualifying to the World Cup is to the players themselves and why they do everything to qualify. And I think it's true. You see, I've always said this, that anybody any human being that have been to the world cup before will do everything to go back to the world cup so the players themselves here yeah, they really want to go to the world cup as much as Ghanaians wants the players to qualify for the world cup and I, I and i'm saying this from experience for somebody who has been fortunate to be at the world cup before guy is a different experience when you get there you understand why players that have been to the world cup before will do everything to be there and you understand why Lyakinson has never been happy that he wasn't taken to the World Cup. The World Cup is the biggest stage in world football. And every player will do everything to be there. So, just as Ali Dusedu said, the Black Stars qualifying for the World Cup is not it's non-negotiable. They are going all out to do everything to qualify. And I think what he said is just a short interview. You le Let's listen to him and then we'll come back. Hello. 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 Yeah, like he was just playing around, but come on, you know, like they mean it. He said the players themselves, they know what World Cup is. And me, I've said it countless times. World Cup is a big deal for every player, just like it's a big deal for the Ghanaian football fan. Let's move to the Black Stars players and do some camp updates. So the team will train today at the Legon Sports Stadium, 4.30 p.m., it's open to the general public. When we say open to the general public, it means everybody can come. Not often do we get the chance to watch the Black Stars. So, my buddy, let's go in our numbers. Let's go there. Go and support the team. Like, let them know that we are still behind them. We are obviously going to be there to bring you all the updates and everything that you need to know. So, if you can't be there too, don't worry. Trust us that we'll give you solid content that you are going to enjoy. Let's move to Another thing about another transfer news about Usman Bukhari. So Usman Bukhari has officially been unveiled as Austin. So I don't know, Austin or Austin FC yeah, in the MLS League. So he has been officially unveiled. There was rumor that he's leaving Real Star Belgrade. And finally, he has moved on for a transfer fee of around 7 million euros. Bukhari was a very brilliant player for Real Star Belgrade. He played in the Champions League. He scored a lot of goals. He scored over 25 goals and provided 20 assists in 77 matches for his side. Went to the Champions League, as I said, came to Etihad and managed to score. He also went to the World Cup and scored a goal against Portugal at the World Cup. He's a very brilliant footballer 
and after uh, he he was signed he officially said i am determined to contribute my best to the team the city and the lawyer fan base in achieving their goals with his talents usman bukhari believes that he's going to be an exceptional player for the mls so usman bukhari salute to him he hasn't reported yet and i think it's because of the transfer he really needed to go and make the move official and then come back to come and report to camp and then uh, so let's move to another one let's talk about today is more of updates another update is on Mourinho and his move so this report i think is confirmed that Mourinho will be going to fanabachi and the interesting the Ghanaian interest here is Ghanaian defender alexander jiku plays for fanabachi and they won the title Mourinho is going back i've seen a lot of people saying Mourinho time is passing because he's going to fanabachi come on Mourinho goes to take us wrong. Mourinho has proven that he's not somebody who is scared of taking big jobs, like taking jobs that are challenging. He takes a job with Fanabachi, comes to the Champions League, and will come and win the Champions League. And people will see. Respect the old man. Respect Mourinho. But Mourinho will be coaching another Ghanaian after parting ways with Michael Essien. He has always been a lover of African players. An opportunity for Jiku to play under Moreno will be great experience. We are looking forward to how Moreno will bring the best out of Jiku. He will make him a strong player for the Blasters. Because now that the team is moving on, I think Jiku will be one of them players that Otwado will really be relying on. Still on updates, Blasters uh, defender, another defender, Jeremy Opoku, has officially proposed to his girlfriend. The player is yet to arrive in Ghana, but he had to propose to his girlfriend before he arrives in Ghana. You know, football, Otwad once said that footballers don't really get a chance to be with their family that often. So as he has gotten this opportunity, the best thing, do it. I think this is the second Ghanaian player who has proposed to, you know, Terekra, because Pate, Jerome Yopoku, and then there's uh, this player who plays in the MLS, bring yourself. Yao Yamua, brilliant. So you can see. Players, the players are really getting married. And I think it's a beautiful a beautiful moment we wish him the best of luck we wish him and his family the best of luck this is a brilliant uh, move yeah let's wrap up with the the son of former president mahama sharif mahama is he used to be a footballer he used to play football i think he stopped playing football and now he used to play it casually and he has a football club i believe he's a very he's a good lover of sports and football in general if you are somebody who follows him very well, you know that like he always talks about sports, goes to the boxing arena. He has a football team, basically. And now he has he, he decided to take the FIFA license agent exams and he passed. That's brilliant because a lot of people write these exams and they don't even pass. And one thing I also love about this license exams and in relation to Ghanaians is how the young people are going into it. Like almost all the agents I know that have passed and have their licenses are pretty young. DBJ, Stark, uh, Sheriff, like the people I know, young and it's good. It's good for Ghana football. It's good for the progressive nature of our game. And for Mahama's son, salute to him. Like a lot of people feel like when they're coming from a privileged home, you don't... Like you get everything on a silver platter, but from experience and from what I know about this license exam and that form, no small joke. So if he has been able to write and pass, it tells you his love for sports and how he has taken his time to learn, write and pass this exam. Best of luck to him. He went on social media and said some few things. Let me he said, I'm thrilled to announce that I have passed the FIFA agent examination and I'm now licensed as an official FIFA agent. This is a pursuit of my passion to contribute to the development of football in Ghana and the world at large. He has all the connections. His father is a former president and aspirant also again. He will always have the experience. He will always have the edge. Like clubs will be willing to deal with him. Players will be willing to deal with him because of the uh, integrity and the part, like the, the name that comes with it. And I think agents is also one thing that also gives agent edge is integrity like honesty when people know that they can trust you 
they will always give you their players clubs will always come to you for players so wish him the best of luck we are wrapping up in, in on today's video it's been an exciting one but i think some few things that we can talk about as uh, i wrapped up with Mohammed's son we talked about Usman Bukhari. The Black Stars will be training today at the University of Ghana Sports Stadium. It's open to the general public. Coming on numbers, let's support. I did a quick video on Black Stars players and their drip. It's been an exciting video. A lot of people have shared their comments in the comment section. It's been an interesting video. Let me go and watch that video too as well. And let me know what you think. How the boys showed up and dripped. Let me know who is your best dress player so far. As usual, my name is Delali Frank. Until we meet again. Bye-bye for now.